Shalom, shalom, shalom. Call halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. All right. Uh, salutations to all the Akim out there on the highways and byways pushing this truth with all honesty and sincerity. All right. Still trying to wake up the hopeful elect. All right. Uh, just a reminder that what we're doing is working. Further heralding the downfall of these devils, these Edomites, these so-called white people, all right, and mainly Amalek here. This article from the Russia Insider says, belief in the Holocaust is crumbling around the world. What will the consequences of this earthquake be? All right. The question that challenges the shrewdest philosophers and prophets is how the world will respond when a Holocaust narrative, and it is a narrative, is no longer considered believable. All right. What happens when a Holocaust is regarded as far-fetched as Santa Claus? An illusion as is the fable of Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Contemporary uh, revelations of revisionists Historians and scholars have their equivalents with the heresies of Galileo. All right, and heretics like Alexander Solzhenitsyn, who dared to question what George Orwell described as the prevailing truth. All right, in China, India, the Far East, and the Middle East, disbelief, disbelief in the Holocaust narrative is commonplace. And see that all along that was. Two areas in the world where that didn't fly. That was North Africa and the Vatican. They knew this, all right? But again, this goes to Edomite slash white supremacy. Again, that narrative that has been pushed throughout the world for over 500 years now, all right? Actually, a little more than that. I'm just counting the time from Columbus, all right? It says, in Africa and Latin America, the Holocaust is a non-story. We don't even, you know, don't even bring that shit here, all right? It says, a sanctuary for those whom media, and who owns the media, dismiss as Holocaust deniers. And that's true because in Germany, you get locked up and fined or both, all right? And this is uh, from the caption here. It says, you have to be a special kind of stupid to believe the Germans over years would waste enormous resources to ethnically cleanse people when the Allies did it free of charge. And that's the thing. You're in the midst of a war. All this fuel that it would take. Now, all you have to do, this is common sense, is talk to people that operate crematoriums, and they will tell you how difficult it is to burn one body. You expect people with any sort of brain to believe that in the space <laughs> so like it's so like it. to believe that anybody uh, will waste that amount of resources for disposing and then after all this where's the evidence that this even took place they played on people's feelings, all right, and people bought it. Emotional response, all right. All the, again, the catalyst for this, as I said before, Edomite slash white supremacy. Because you never understood the scriptures to begin with. If you understood the scriptures and prophecy, you would know these can't be the people of the Most High. In fact, they're the exact opposite. All right? Once again, it says, you have to be a special kind of stupid to believe the Germans over years would waste enormous resources to ethnically cleanse people when the Allies did it free of charge and weeks of leaving over one million captives in open fields without food, water, or shelter. Over 13 million ethnic Germans were liquidated by the Soviet, British, and American allies after Germany's defeat. And you know who played a good, uh, a big role in that? Was 
everybody, at least over here, is hero Ike Eisenhower. With a stroke of a pen, he changed the wording. All right, I, I can't remember off the top of my head what exactly it's called, but I read on it like a couple of years ago, and they're not too fond of Dwight D. Eisenhower over there, all right, because of what he did. A lot of Germans died, all right, because uh, what did it have to do with uh, uh, something about the prisoner of war status? Uh, because Ike was a so-called Jew, all right, and there was a little controversy between him and Patton because Patton trained him and the powers that be promoted him over, uh, I mean, he shot up and rank over uh, Patton, all right? So in any case, let's get back to this. It says, even in the West where plebeians have the Holocaust constantly rammed down their protesting throats, the Holocaust narrative is uh, crumbling. Today, there are a few places where pollsters dare to ask questions relating to the official take on the Holocaust. And I must say, personally, this, is some, this has been some gangster shit. This whole attitude by them, the, ho the Holocaust happened. If you don't believe, you're not only anti-Semitic, which doesn't, that word, sem Semite doesn't exist. Another way they got people. All right? And we're going to ruin you if you do not believe. Well... If it was the truth, it would <coughs> answer for itself <coughs> and defend itself on its own. It would stand on its own. But this is where this being a lie comes into place because now people are, there's so many holes in it. I mean, man, you really have to be an idiot to believe that. There's so many documentaries, and that's why eventually they're going to have to shut down YouTube because... Uh, People are starting to do their own searches and things, and nobody, like it says in this article, you know, people are like, this is bullshit, all right? And people are taking it upon themselves to find out how much bullshit it really is and how they've been played. And these people have a lot to answer for because just think about it. In this manner, just 70, uh, four year, five years now, since the end of World War II, how much mileage and wealth they have gotten. Not just that they are the Jews and they're not. I'm just talking, I'm just counting from World War II. All right. People that have given these bastards money, believing in this lie. All over the world, they've been able to set up, oh, you poor people, you, you suffered so much. When it's a fucking lie. Think about that. Continuing on, it says, Today there are a few places where pollsters dare to ask questions relating to the official take on the Holocaust. However, we do know that 79% of polls consider the Holocaust to be propaganda. All right, Hungarians are even more skeptical with only 17% believing in the Holocaust storyline. The litmus test is the United States where the American peoples have been brainwashed by Holocaust propaganda more than any others. Let's look up a word here. All right. Uh, whoops. What am I doing? It's uh, lucky, it's lucky. All right. Because I did this on another video. There we go. Propaganda. Propaganda is the information that is used primarily to influence an audience. And further, an agenda. What was that agenda? First, they wanted the land of Israel. All right. Well, not first, but they claimed an identity that was not theirs, that they are Judeans. That's where the Jew, the short version of that, reference to as a Judean, as the head tribe of the nation of Israel, which they're not. They funded the slave trade to actually bring the real Jews over to this side of the world. After all, if I'm going to take your place, I'm going to steal your identity. i got to be able if not to outright just kill you and eliminate you. All right. I at least have to be able to control your goings and comings and keep an eye on you. All 
all right? And that's what happened because people always say, well, they just went over there and got a bunch of Africans not even considering, all right, that these so-called Jews, having studied the scriptures, because they are converts from the 8th century on up until that time, they knew exactly who they were going for and what peoples. There was a specific people that were targeted on the west coast of Africa. But no one's paying any attention to that because they were all... <sighs> when people fled out of Jerusalem in 70 A.D., they scattered. Not only that, you're talking about from the time of the first triumvirate in Rome where you had uh, Julius Caesar and uh, others, all right? One million of us fled into the continent of Africa, all right, getting away from Roman persecution. Those people had to be able to blend in, not stand out like sore thumbs or broken thumbs. They had to be able to blend in, so those people were other dark-skinned people. All right, and they mainly, for the most part, concentrated in the western parts of Africa. Of course, they, when you say scattered, but the bulk of them went to the west coast of Africa and set up colonies. That's where you get your Fort Judas and Fort Benjamins and etc. Why is a Hamite going to call his settlement that? See, people just dismiss common sense and they go for all this shit that Esau puts out there about you know, you're having to be, go to his schools and I give you a piece of, of paper. Now, you can call yourself smart because I say you are. See, we got to get away from this, these people. But let me get a, let me get a scripture here because this is what has happened. Let's go to 2 Corinthians, let's go to 10. And four, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. And that's what Great Millstone is on down. All right. This is not carnal. This is spiritual warfare. All right. And that is stressed. It says, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. All right. Pulling down of strongholds. This idea that these people are the Jews. All right, and that they are the people of the Most High. This is Strong's G thirty-seven ninety-four. Strong's G thirty-seven ninety-four. Ahurama. Ahurama. Root word etymology, meaning to fortify through the idea of holding safely. All right, a okay, castle, for a stronghold, fortress, fastness. Anything on which one deli uh, relies. Anything on which one relies, they relied on this lie. All right, they profited immensely from this lie. That was a stronghold for them. And I have to say, this commercial that had been airing, that I paid attention to at least for the last couple of years, used to irritate the hell out of me. It still does. But the Most High took this guy's life. And the organization is... Uh, the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews. And they are constantly on the air pushing this lie and showing these pictures, these videos of these people that are supposed to have been Holocaust survivors in, I don't know, supposedly the, some regions and isolated regions in Russia, whatever have you, and begging people to make donations. Okay, you own the banking system. The world, as a result, is in slavery under you, all right, and you're still hustling people for money. This is a scam. Like I said, it's been profitable for them, all right, and they suckered the whole world into it. But now it's crumbling, all right, all right, and that's basically it. This has been a stronghold for them, all right, this lie. All right, so going back to this article here. All right, again, let me repeat. It says the litmus test is the United States. Dumb Americans, where the American peoples have been brainwashed by Holocaust propaganda more than any others. Remember, I read what propaganda is, all right? Yet today, an impressive one-third of Americans think substantially less than six million were murdered. Such loss of credibility simply cannot be recovered. 
It was once confined. Ah, uh, Salaki. It was once confided in me that following the end of World War I, 1914 to 1918, the British government formally acknowledged that slanders heaped upon troops of Imperial Germany were fictional and was merely propaganda to stir the masses into a war psychosis. The outcome was an unprecedented outpouring of sympathy for the wronged and much maligned Germans. Could that have been an experiment to see how like I said, a litmus, a litmus test. And they did the switcheroo for World War II. Damn, that rhyme. All right. Imagine then the consequences if it is conceded that the Holocaust narrative is unsustainable. Worse, unlike the propaganda of World War I, the Holocaust myth has shamelessly and illegally been used to milk the Germans and other nations of billions of, didn't I just say that? Billions of euros. Because these are some slimy, shady pieces of shit by nature, all right? No less than Russian President Vladimir Putin and Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov accept that historical revisionism ought to be recognized. But both advise caution and control as the consequences of revisionism, historical propaganda, free truths, were beyond contemplation. One can only speculate as to the reaction of millions who realize that not only have they been deceived by the Holocaust lobby, but actually aided the fraudsters by defending the Holocaust narrative. Another matter for speculation as to how the now panicking Holocaust lobbyists, the media ed educationalist, judiciary, and the political elite will defend their previous positions, all right, uh, Ah, let me read this in caption here. It says, with the uh, Jeep, the military person says, when the Red Cross interviewed thousands of freed camp inmates at the end of war, at the end of the war, asking whether they had witnessed alleged homicidal gassings, the response was universally no. According to IRC document number 9925, June 1946, the detainees themselves have not spoken of them. Continuing on, it says the cost of the holy oh, I'll go again. the cost of the Holocaust storyline being disproved disproved are incalculable. Every book or periodical that sustained the Holocaust lie will soon have little use other than birdcage liner. <laughs> libraries, the contents of public libraries, history sections will be worthless, as will millions of movies and documentaries. Not to remember these damn museums down here on the mall and, and on the dist and district here. It says the outcome could be equal to the discovery that oil or the U.S. dollar no longer has a value, and that's coming. It will be life-changing, all right? The Holocaust lobby is at a loss as to how the Holocaust storyline can be sustained. Their last stronghold is to apply further education along similar lines to the 1946 post-war denazification programs, which Germans were forced to attend before they could get jobs or homes. My guess is that having accepted that the Holocaust is considered no more credible than as Santa Claus or the Emperor's new raiment, Holocaust propaganda will be quietly shelved, but the shekels will continue unabated, perhaps under the auspices of money laundering described as foreign aid. Another picture here with, it says, if the Germans were so clever, why not do as the Allies did? Trapped surrendered prisoners in the open air and starved 1.4 million of them to death, 1944 to 1945. Continuing on, it says, then the revisionist uh, campaign will move to the attack to ensure that the international Jews' cash cow is put out of its misery. Imagine for a moment the treasure trove with the murdered victim for whom compensation is extorted is found to be alive and well. In 1945, German Minister of Information Joseph Goebbels wrote to his stepson Harold, the lies will one day break down under their own weight and the truth will again triumph. The hour will come when we shall stand pure and undefiled as our aims and beliefs have always been. All right, so let's get some comments. More 
people that believe this lie. You're ignorant if you don't believe this happened. This is sad, and it is absolute wrong to think this was all made up lie. <laughs> uh oh. Marco Osiris says, for those who use critical thinking, research, and compare and actually consider logic and things don't make sense once you do. All right. Your friend Eddie says, excellent article. Let's see more like this. Amazing Creation says, they got their money. Fuck Trump, Hillary, and Obama says, truth. You can still see how many are trapped and caught up in that lie. All right. Edomites need to believe, all right, in that lie. Again, going back to Edomite slash white supremacy. All right. That's the basis for that. And I have to get another scripture here because. At the end of the day, this is what it's coming to. This is going to be Obadiah. All right. This is Obadiah. Start at the top. It says, The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Most High Yahweh concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Most High Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Go back to Job chapter 30. Whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? This is talking about Esau, Edom, a so-called white man. All right. The nations back during the time of Job, maybe a little earlier, got tired of their BS and drove them up into what we now know to be the Caucasus Mountains. All right. It says, and this is about his pride, it says, For though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, who have done that? Esau, Edom. Look at the, uh, from the time of the Wright brothers, uh, with the planes, they kept going higher and higher. You know, you had your propeller, then you had your jet engines, you know, and now your space vehicles, your rockets, now you're building space stations, that's your nest. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, what's been the symbol of each Edomite nation? The eagle. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Most High Yahweh. All right, going down to six. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Another way to look at this not only is Truth coming out on these devils. Look at it another way. When the police serve a search warrant on an individual, depending on the nature of the crime, depending on uh, the disposition of whoever is executing the search warrant, they're going through all and tearing up all your shit, pulling down all your shit out of your shelves, tossing all your shit, you know. That's what the Most High is doing to these devils. Think of it like that, all right? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up, all right? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. Whoops, that's a lot. Have laid a wound under thee, all right? There is none understanding in him because these people, like I said, have they're tired of your shit. They see you for what you really are, for the devil that you are. All right. Shall I not in that day say if the Most High Yahweh even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? Again, going back to the top of this chapter, going to the pride of these devils. They're calling themselves cracking down on us now, but what were we? Oh, those guys are crazy. Just, you know make mockery of us, 
out there from the apostles on down, and they even their elders. Don't worry about those guys. Hey, that, you know, your own pride did you hear? All right. The wise men destroying the wise men. Again, it was a specific time where this wouldn't have happened. All right, because certain of your people wouldn't have allowed us, and of course, this is the will of the Most High at the end of the day. All right, wouldn't have allowed us to do what we're doing now. All right, and thy mighty men, verse 9, and thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter, and that day's coming. And here's why. Verse 10, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right? In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captives, his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou wast as one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger, neither should thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Raise it, raise it. Bring it down to the ground. Psalms 137. Read that whole chapter. King David. All right. Neither shouldest thou have stood proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of thy people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. All right. And you can see some of that behavior today. You ever watch some of those episodes of shows like Cops or any of these programs. Officers would be dealing with a Jake and out of nowhere a civilian Edomite would come along and call himself assisting in the arrest. Just You see him come out of in the, enter into the picture frame just out of nowhere. I got him! Shit like that just pisses me off. It really does. Skipping down to 18 because this is your end result. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Most High Yahweh has spoken it. You want to talk about Holocaust? That's going to be your Holocaust. All right? Holocaust, great destruction resulting in an extensive loss of life, especially by fire. Let's go to Miriam. A sacrifice consumed by fire. A thorough destruction involving extensive loss of life, especially through fire. A mass slaughter of people. All right. Go to uh, dictionary.com. A great or complete devastation or destruction, especially by fire. It says a complete devastation or destruction. All right. There you go. A sacrifice cons completely consumed by fire, burnt offering. Remember Isaiah 63rd chapter. All right. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Free dictionary. All right. That's it. You get the idea. All right. Because they still throwing that crap in there about these so called Jews. All right. So I think you get the pitch. I didn't intend to go on this long, but just got caught up. This is something that's. Uh, because you know it's a lie, but because of who runs the media, actually who runs the world now, remember Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, all right? And that's the wicked. When you go to Malachi 1, uh, verses 1 through 4, 
It tells you who the wicked are. Esau, Edom, a so-called white man. All right. So uh, hopefully whoever sees this is edified. Again, this is another sign that these devils are being pulled out of the power seat. All right. And good riddance. All right. So with that, call halal yahweh, b'hashim yahweh, b'hashim rekokodash. Double honors once again to the apostles of the great millstone who taught me this truth and who rule well. All right. Salutations to the Akim once again. who out there on the highways and byways pushing this truth. All honesty and sincerity. I didn't wake up to hopefully Lex. We get the hell up out of this piece of shit. All right. So with that, shalom, Akim. Ba -ba 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 -ba.